Off the top, the annual Grand Rapids Pride Festival is in full swing downtown. For 35 years, the Pride Center has brought a celebration of identity to Calder Plaza. News 8's Taylor Morris has been talking to attendees there and joins us live. Amanda, uh, for this, for the entire month of June, communities all across the state are holding different festivals and events to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. Last weekend in Grand Haven, the city held their first Pride Festival, and now in Grand Rapids, they are hosting one of the largest Pride Festivals in the area. The first Pride event in Grand Rapids was held in 1988. In 2015, gay marriage was legalized nationwide. At today's festival, two weddings took place. When it comes to the law in Michigan, back in March, Governor Whitmer signed legislation to expand the Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act to include protections against discrimination for people in Michigan who identify as LGBTQ+. Earlier, we talked to people at the festival about how they feel that the current, about the current political climate and today's event. I just want to thank the city of Grand Rapids for providing this incredible opportunity to support all our individuals here who are coming out to celebrate their identity and a huge act of protest against the current changing political climate. All these people are in the good fight and um, I'm, I'm proud to be amongst them. I love that this is a day that everyone can just celebrate themselves as loud as they can with their community and that we can all just feel the love and acceptance of this city and make it a more welcoming place for everybody. Tonight at 10 and 11, we will take a closer look into the newly enacted uh, Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act, as well as other legislation, legislative issues surrounding the LGBTQ plus community. Live in Grand Rapids, Taylor Morris, News 8.